Well, if I had my camera and was a little quicker, I could have taken a picture of that weasel that came to check out the the, the skillet pit here. But, well, the snow kind of passed us by, which is great. It's kind of cold and cloudy this morning, but the sun just came out and my wife and I decided, let's try and bake a pumpkin pie. <laughs> so I'm going to clear off probably the deep pit and uh, get it going good. And she's uh, making some pie crust and getting the, the filling all ready. A little change of plans. My wife thought the skillet does better on that shallow pit, especially baking a pie. So we just put two buckets of wood in here and, well, uh, get it going. And she's inside getting the pie ready. Okay, my wife whipped up this uh, pie crust. She put it in an aluminum pan. And she said, why don't we put it on the skillet for about five minutes to kind of get it ready to be browned because she already cooked the, the uh, pumpkin filling. So uh, I'm going to do that, then we'll take it off, we'll put the filling back in, and then we'll bake it for about 15 minutes. Okay, I just threw a little snow in there to see how hot this thing's getting. So we're going to do our little leaf test here in a little bit, but i got to put the other grate on here. Okay, we got the lid on the skillet, so we're just going to let this thing get nice and hot. And then we'll try our little test. Okay, when the snow that's now melted is all evaporated and there's no signs of dampness on the lid or anything, and the water's all gone, then I'm going to know we're at least at, in the 200s. So then we'll... Uh, Go find some dry oak leaves and go to the next level. Well, like the instructions say, preheat oven to 425. Okay. We're definitely up in the 200s now because everything's sizzling and steaming away real quick. But it was pretty cold last night, so we'll get this steel hot. It's 3 16th inch plate steel, so it it's going to hold heat and it's also going to hold cold. So another 5 or 10 minutes, I think it'll be ready. Okay, we just started our little oak leaf test, so I'm going to put the lid back on the skillet and wait a couple minutes and see what's happening. Okay, they're, they're right in between burning and not burning, so I'm saying we're right up around that 400 degree temperature on that lower grate. Okay, here's our ingredients. we got some scratch-made pumpkin pie here. So that's a special little mix of some pumpkin we canned, but we also uh, added some cinnamon, brown sugar. And this is just some uh, whole wheat pie crust my wife made up. Okay, we got our little wood spacer blocks. We put the pizza pan actually in there because uh, the blocks didn't really want to hold up that pie crust real nice. But I'm going to put this plain pie crust in here and cover it up for about five minutes. Take it out and then we're going to put our filling in. We just want to kind of get that pie crust started to be cooked a little bit. Some of those wood blocks were starting to smoke a little bit so I just dropped a little snow on there and... And it cooled them off a little bit. It's still hot. Didn't want it that hot. Okay, it's been in there a little, five, five, six minutes. And you can see the crust is starting to brown on the edges. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the pie filling in it. I don't really want to pick it up and bend it or anything. But I'm going to put the filling in, then we're going to put the lid back on. Okay, I got the filling in there, and uh, I might happen to know somebody that wants to see what that tastes like. <laughs> hey, pup dog, you want to try this out? Yeah, I figured you would. It's about 30 degrees warmer today than it was yesterday when we made those uh, corn muffins. So it figures that uh, the oven's probably 30 degrees hotter. So I've thrown snow on it a couple times just to cool it down. And it seems to be working just fine. I just have to make sure that, that wood doesn't start on fire. Well, what we thought was going to be a snowy and miserable day today ended up being beautiful. I talked to one of my friends up north where we used to live about 200 miles north and they got 36 inches of snow so they're having to put chains on to go drive to Thanksgiving dinner but uh it's close to 50 here today I'm in my flannel shirt so it's beautiful out okay this is a five minute uh, excuse me 10 minute check and I can see the crust is really getting golden brown now and the even the pumpkin mix is uh starting to get a little brown on the top so I'm thinking another we'll check in another seven minutes okay that skill is just a little bit hot so I just drop a little snow around there bring that temperature down just a little bit okay it's been in there about 15 minutes and it sure is starting to look good a little bit of golden on the top there 
But I'll get my wife to come out of here and check this thing. She already came out once. I just want to make sure I don't burn anything. Because right at the edge of burning and well done, that's where you want it just about. Well, it really cleared up today. You can see uh, Fisher's Peak really clear. And boy, the sound of that breeze going through the pine needle sure is pretty. Nice warm sun out today. What a different day than I thought it was going to be. Well, the backyard's starting to smell like a bakery. Boy. Yeah, well, this morning my wife said, you know, it's not really Thanksgiving without a pumpkin pie. So when the weather broke, she jumped right on it. So I'm really glad, too. So it's nothing like having some hot apple cider and some pumpkin pie for dessert after our Thanksgiving supper. Okay, one last cool down, I think. And uh, this thing will be done in about five minutes. Boy, that pumpkin smell with that steam is something else. Okay, we just did a 45 minute check and put the little uh, poker in there and it's still just a little bit uh, not quite done in the middle but uh, I think another five or ten minutes it's not burning at all so it's just cooking nice and slow so uh, never thought we'd be doing this on the campfire but I'll tell you what when my buddy brought this skillet around and showed it to me that he made I thought this is incredible so we're just we're trying everything well, folks, as always, I thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a first for us, making our pie over the grill. And it, I look, it's not burnt. It looks like it came out great, and we're going to find out in a, about two hours or so after we get done eating our turkey. But I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and thanks again. Bye. Boy, did that thing come out nice.